Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have one of the top whiskies, the Mordlach, 25 years old, 43.4 ABV. The bottles aren't on the market yet. Um, they shall arrive uh, late June, first half of July 2014 in a worldwide rollout. Um, I already tasted the rare old uh, whiskey with no age statement on it and the 18 year old and the prices are quite heavy here in Europe where you typically have a 0.5 liter bottle, half a liter bottle and the 18 year old costs suggested retail price from the uh, from Diageo, the proprietor of the distillery, 180 Great, Great Britain pounds and the 25 year old 600 Great Britain pounds. On the continent in Europe we estimate a selling price of 700 to 750 euros for a 0.5 liter bottle, no high strength. <laughs> you find some criticism in my speech? Yes, you're right. Uh, for 600 Great Britain pounds you have a lot of high-grade competitors. Well, the bottle is very expensive, very well made. The heavy glass bottom gives the bottle a big stand. And in the US the bottle will be much more expensive because we have 0.75 liters. The 0.5 liter bottles aren't allowed in the US. Ah, still some regulations present. Um, I said a lot to the distillery and to this uh, rebuilding of the brand uh, in the first video about the uh, rare old and I said something about the cask maturation and the stills in the 18 year old and for the 25 year old um, I heard that uh, the cask selection for this whiskey is strict ex-bourbon casks you will see it when I taste it uh, and the 18 year old has an intermixture between ex bourbon cask and ex sherry casks uh, and the rare old I think as well I haven't uh, I wasn't able to find out uh, the cask selection for the rare old as well as I wasn't able uh, uh, to find out how old this whiskey is um, well this one is 25 years old we hope that there are a lot of casks still left in the distillery so that the prices will go down over the years so that everybody will be able to have a sip of this exquisite whiskey. These small bottles have a plastic cork and the original bottles, I don't know what they have. I suggest that they have a real cork, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen one yet. Plastic corks aren't that bad. They can't have this cork taste. They can't uh, spoil the whiskey. So plastic corks or glass corks or screw caps are always preferable <laughs> against the cork. Uh, cork is authentic. Very fruity. Elegant, light. So I'm believing that this is a ex-bourbon cask maturation. It's not that dark, it no dark fruits in it. It's lighter, much lighter, like Candied pineapple, pineapple. Yeah. Tropical fruits as well. Papaya. Mango. Grenadine. Some peaches. Nectarines, the yellow ones. 
and in the background some spiciness appearing very decent a little vanilla and it's it's sad that it should have a, a very light smokiness but i'm afraid no smokiness no always this fragrant fruitiness yeah Mm. Oh, I got a big gulp, a big sip in my mouth, and it's strong. The beast, Mortla is also called the beast, in the front of your tongue. There's a spiciness appearing, like ginger and pepper, sweet pepper. No. Spicy pepper. Uh, a few weeks ago, I bought some some dried fruit, apricots, and a, a candied ginger. Um, I remember those fruits very much with this sugary top on the candied ginger. Some sandalwood licorice appearing in the back some light bitterness like intense cacao appearing long aftertaste oh, this fruitiness this pineapple for watching whiskey.com there's more to come not from the mod luck in the moment please stay tuned and feel free to share this video with your friends and leave comments i'm happy about that <laughs>